Hello, this is Darren Pearson, and today I'm going to talk about how to rig eyes and uh, create pose widgets in Blender. Uh, before we get into the procedure, um, I just want to uh, point out a couple things. I uh, The model that we used is this male head that I took off of BlendSwap. It's created by a guy named Oscar Leaf. I think that's how he pronounced his name. And he's a really nice guy because he says it's recommended that you give credit to the author, but there's no obligation to do so, so I'm going to do it anyways. If you, you can check it out. Uh, here's his profile. You can see a little bit about him. Um, and then here's his website, so we can see a little bit about uh, what he does here in Blender. Uh, looks like he's created some nice things. Uh, also, too, I want to point out um, this uh, topic was taken, a lot of it, um, part of it was taken from this tutorial at blendtuts.com by Oliver Villar Diaz. I hope I'm pronouncing their name right. Um, and I found it really, it, it's, there's a lot of good information. Um, the reasons I decided to redo it was um, just to organize it a little bit differently. And also, uh, he's, this guy's a great animator, but his uh, his ax English is not his primary language, and his accent's uh, pretty heavy. So, anyways, uh, if we go into Blender, if we open up the headwitheyes.blend file, uh, we can take a look at that. And what I'm going to first start to do is I'm just going to do a save as, and I'm just going to call this headwitheyes-part1.blend. And I always like doing this just in case I kind of goof up. You can always go back and uh, uh, you know, get, the, uh, get the original here. So uh, in this, you'll notice we have the camera, which is actually up here. We're going to have to bring that down when we're all done, but I put it up there to get it out of the way. And we have three meshes, the left eye mesh, the right eye mesh, and then the entire head mesh. So we have three different mesh objects. We're then going to start by, oops, i got to resize my screen just a little bit. Screen recording is always a little goofy there. Um, so we resize my screen there. And I'm going to add an armature. Add armature single bone. There it is. Uh, and I'm just going to position it. I'm going to open this up right here. And the exact positions are at x equals 0, y equals 0 0.45, and z equals 0 0.75. That puts it right inside his head. Uh, we can't see it that well. But if we go over here to the object editor and uh, go into... Uh, object data, um, which looks like that little skeleton there. I'm going to put a check next to both x-ray and names, so we can see this is named bone and we can see kind of the x-ray inside of it that we have right here. At this point I'm going to tab into edit mode and select the entire bone right there and just hit shift D enter to duplicate it so it's standing right on top of it. I'll now rotate it, RX 90, rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis so we can see there's where the bone is and open up my side panel here and we can see in edit mode we have both the head and the tail sections. I'm going to set the head and tail sections to the following values. Head will be 0 0.146 on the x, negative 0 0.43 on the y, and 0 0.48 on the Z. For tail X, 0 0.146. Tail Y, negative 0 0.6. And tail Z, 0 0.48. There we go. Uh, and we can see this bone now aligns with his eye. While we're still in edit mode, I'm going to have this bone selected. Hold down Shift to select the larger bone, and then hit Control P. This will create make the larger bone the parent to the smaller bone. Oops, Control P. I'm going to choose though the Keep Offset. If we do, con this creates that dotted line. Otherwise, it would put the head of this bone at the tail of that one, which we don't want to do. Uh, we're also going to go in the Outline Editor. I'll expand Armature, and we can see there's our two bones. This is the head bone right there. So I'm going to rename that head bone, bone, and if I select this one, that's the one going through his left eye, I'm going to rename that one uh, eyebone.l. .l is the typical extension that we use for the left side there. While still in edit mode, I'll switch to front orthographic view, and I'm just going to do a shift D to duplicate that bone and move him over here. Let's set his exact positions to negative 0 0.146. That one's good. Negative 0.43. Z-axis should be uh, 0.48. And then down here, negative 0 0.146. Uh, 0.6. And set this to 0.48. There we go. Uh, let's go in the outline editor too, and you can see it 
since I duplicated that's the name I'm just going to double click and call this ibone.r for the right side. Remember that we name everything according to the model's right side not uh, how we're looking at it. Uh, at this point I'm going to switch from edit mode into pose mode there we go and hit the A key to unselect everything. If I hit A again it selects everything. I hit it again it unselects everything. Um, I'm now going to select the head mesh hold down shift and select the head bone. At this point I'm going to hit control P and I'm going to choose set parent to bone right there. Unselect everything using A and tab into object mode. I'm going to clear everything out by hitting A again, select the armature, there we go, tab into pose mode, and I'm going to do the same thing for each eye. So I go in and I select the, I guess that would be his eye mesh left, oops, might be easier to actually select it here in the outliner, hold down shift and select eye bone L, and control P, set parent to bone, there we go, and we'll do the other one, oops, unselect everything, go to object mode, select the armature, go back into pose mode, nothing selected, I'll select eye mesh right, this time I'm using the, the mesh here, I'm using the outliner to select that, hold down shift, select eye bone R, control P, and set parent to bone. Uh, life is good now, unselect everything, and uh, there we go. We'll stay in pose mode now actually and the cool part about this is if we've got this set up correctly I can select the head bone and if I grab everything moves and I'll hit Alt G to undo that. If I hit R the entire head moves including the eyes so everything moves and I hit Alt R but then I can go in and I can select the eye bone and if I do a, I'll just first do a rotate Z, that's probably the most natural. We can see how our eye bones move, something like that. And I can do a RY and we get some weird movements there and some RX to go up and down. That's pretty good. I'll hit Alt R to clear all that out and uh, things are pretty good. Uh, at this point I'm going to switch into object mode and I'm just going to do a file save as and save this as head with eyes part two dot blend. I just like to do things in steps back up in case something crashes here. Okay at this point select the armature and we'll switch into edit mode. There we go. Uh, we'll select the head bone, hit a shift D to duplicate him um, and move him out here. Set his new position at x equals zero y equals negative 2, z equals 0 0.5, and for the tail x equals 0, uh, y equals negative 2, and z equals 0 0.75. So this results with this. We have this little bone, it says head bone.001. I'm going to rename that to target main. There we go. So this is going to be the main target that we have here. I'm going to duplicate him, shift D, move him over there, and I'll just do an RX 90 to rotate him 90 degrees, and go in and change the head and tail values to the following, 0 0.16, Y equals negative 2, Z equals 0 0.48, for the tail X equals 0 0.146, y equals negative 2.2, z equals 0 0.48. Okay, looks good. I'm going to rename this one target i.l because this is what the left eye is going to look at. Um, I'm going to hit uh, and then I'm going to parent him. So first he's selected, hold down shift, select target main, hit control P, and I'll choose the keep offset option. Okay, now I go back and I select just target IL. I hit shift D to duplicate him. I'll move him over here and verify his position is at X equals negative 0 0.146, Y equals negative 2, Z equals 0 0.48, and for the tail negative 0 0.146 for the X, negative 2.2, and 
four eight for the Z. Looks good, except I need to rename him again. Expand this to target I underscore right because this is what the right eye is going to be looking at. So we've got this set up. We now need to make sure that this bone looks at this guy and this bone looks at this guy. So in order to do that, we need to switch to pose mode. There we go. And I'm going to select eye bone L. This is the bone there going right into the eye. Let me move that over. Um, and we're going to move over into the property editor bone constraint. So it's um, this little thing with a bone with a chain by it. And we'll say add constraint. And we'll choose the track to constraint. Now we need to select the object to track to, which is target IL. So under target, we need to first select armature. And under bone, we need to select target IL for target left. And uh, life should be pretty good. Let's do this for the right eye real quick, and then we'll demonstrate its use. So I'll select eye bone right. Go over to constraints, add constraints, track to. Target is the armature. The bone is target right. There we go. Now the cool part about this is I can go and select, if I select target main, and I'll just do a G, we can see how we follow, both eyes follow that, and I'll hit Alt G to undo that. And if I hit target I L and do a G, we can see how we track to that one. Looks good. Alt G and target I R. Grab, move this around, we can see how that changes. Alt G to move all of those back. Um, this is looking pretty good, but uh, we're going to clean some stuff up. These eye, these bones coming out of the eyes are a little bit distracting. So I'm going to go into um, Object Data Display. Object Data, there it is, Display. I'm going to turn off X-Ray and Names. I really don't need that now. And the nice part is while I'm in Pose Mode here, if I go into my Armature and go into Head Bone, there they are, these little icons with the uh, eyeballs by them will toggle the visibility. So those bones are still there, they're just not visible anymore. So now when I go in and grab this and move this around, I can see that a little bit better and get a, a better idea where his eyes are focusing at. So, uh, looks good. Uh, I'm going to switch now to object mode. And again, just for the heck of it, I'm going to do a file save as and call this part 3.blend save as. At this point if we wanted to we could stop but uh, it's kind of nice to add some widgets that uh, are a little bit more easier or descriptive to control than these target bones out here. So uh, I'm going to um, go and add a, a couple circles here. I'm first going to switch, I'm in object mode, switch to front orthographic view, zoom over and I'm just going to say add mesh circle. And there's our circle. We can't see it very well uh, until I do RX90 to rotate at 90 degrees. And I'm going to scale it down to 0.2. Scale, 0.2, enter. Uh, move it over a little bit off to the uh, right side of the screen. And I'll set its position actually at X equals 2, uh, Y equals negative 1.5, and Z equals 1.2. I just kind of chose those values. Uh, I'm going to hit Shift D now to duplicate. There's my duplicate circle. And I'm going to set the duplicate circle's position at 2.3, negative 1.5, 1.2. Looks good. I'm going to Shift select both of them and hit Control J to join them. They're one object now. Uh, this is going to be kind of the master control. You'll see in just a second what I'm going for. I'm going to tab into edit mode hit A to unselect everything, and then use my box select to get all these guys right there in the middle. Hit X and delete the vertex points. You can see we've got these little tiny gaps here. So to fix that, I'm just going to box select those two guys and hit hotkey F, and that will fill in that. Uh, unselect, box select these guys, F, fill it in. Life is good. Tab out and uh, things are looking good. Uh, we tab back to object mode and we're going to rename this thing. It's called circle. I'm going to rename it main eye controller just to try to be descriptive with my names. I'm going to add another circle. Add mesh another circle. There he is. Rotate him on the x-axis by 90 degrees and scale him down. Scale 0.1 enter. 
So these are going to be for the individual eyes. I'll position them roughly about here, but let's do the exact positioning. X equals 2.3, Y equals negative 1.5, Z equals 1.2. That's pretty good. He's right there in the center. I'm going to rename this guy. Open that up a bit. Uh, there he is instead of circle left eye controller. There we go. And do, 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 hit shift D, duplicate him, move him over right about there, set X at 2, Y and Z, it didn't move too much there, so they're the same values, and rename this guy right eye controller. Okay, so I've got my armature, my camera, and then these three meshes available here. So, looking good. Uh, zoom back out, go over here, close that panel. Uh, I want to try to get a view at both of these at the same time. I'm going to select my armature and switch back into pose mode. There we go. I'll select the target main bone, which is this guy. Looks like he's already selected and I want to associate this outer figure eight with that bone. So I select that, I go into the property editor, bone display, bone display and where right here where it says custom shapes I'm going to choose main eye controller and choose wireframe and we can see the that bone now if we kind of look over here disappears and we have that wireframe the hassle that we have switch to front orthographic mode is this should be centered we need to push it a little bit more over to the left so the way to do that it seems a little strange is the following Let's see if I can position this so we can see both of them pretty well that's pretty good. Yeah. Is I select the figure eight, the main eye controller over here, tab in edit mode, select everything, and just bump it over a little bit right about there. I think that that's pretty good centered. Uh, looks good. And I tab back into object mode. So things are good here. Now we need to just set up the uh, left and right targets here. So again, I'm going to select my armature. I'm in pose mode down here. Okay, that looks good. I got target eye left. Go into property editor, dis uh, property editor bone display custom shape for that one. That is his left eye, so left eye controller. There it is, wireframe. Okay, looking front ortho, oops, it's rotated, so we need to fix that. Again, same kind of procedure is I select the left eye controller over there and I'm actually going to do RX90 oops my bad command Z always your best friend I need to select it tab into edit mode RX90 just to change all the vertex points there it is looks good and now if I just hit S and scale this I can bring it down to oh, about there that's pretty good if I want to Oops. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me go to top view. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. Um, tab back into object view. We're going to do, do the same thing with the other controller. So same sort of deal. I select the bone over here. I'm in pose mode. Go into custom shape and select this is going to be the right eye controller. Select wireframe. There it is. Same deal over here, select this, tab into edit mode, RX90. You can see a little bit too big, so we'll scale him down right, uh, oops, gotta adjust my cursor. Right about there, that's pretty good. Again, if you wanted to fine tune that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, tab back into object mode. Uh, at this point, this is kind of the neat part of it, I can, uh, in order to avoid distractions, again, we can see I have armature, camera, and the three controllers. I actually don't need the controllers anymore. So I'm just going to, in object mode, box select these three guys and hit my X hotkey, delete them out. Um, and it doesn't affect this. Um, they're still available. If I'm in pose mode now, I can verify that I hit G and my eyes move around that way. I can select this individual guy, move him around, select this individual, move him around. All of these I'm going to hit Alt G, put them back to their original position, and I can actually go into and select the head bone 
And notice as I rotate him, uh, you're not going to see it too much there, but if I actually grab him, you can see how he stays looking at that same target. Again, Alt-G, Alt-R. Uh, things are pretty good now. Everything's working as we expected. I'm just going to tab into object mode and do a file save as and just call this head with eyes part 4.blend and save. So that's rigging with uh, rigging eyes with control widgets. Uh, thanks so much and please uh, hope you enjoyed this video and send me any emails if you have questions. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.